I would have appeared to have a dire situation right now. We are in great peril, as a terrible plague has befallen us, has fallen upon us, and that plague is called famine, hunger. We are out of food, we only have some coffee, with no milk, no sugar, and just pure darkness. And uh, coffee won't solve our hunger, so uh, we'll have to do something about it. So in this lesson, I will teach you how to hunt and acquire food in order to survive and increase your survival chance. So, uh, I am Ranger Petrenko. And, uh, let's get this party started right now. We have parked our car. We will leave a marker on it. Now we must listen. Listen for any sounds. You need to be one with nature. So nature can be one with you. Look around and listen quietly. Hmm. It also helps if you look on the ground and look for animal tracks. Let's see. Hmm. Ah yes, here we go. I see some animal tracks. Mm -hmm. Those are clear, fresh tracks. You may not be seeing them because um, your eye is not yet uh, experienced enough, but for a keen eye like a ranger's eye, tracking those steps won't be hard at all, so we'll be back once I found the prey. It seems that uh, my eyes are starting to accommodate with the darkness that comes with the night. My sight is getting better. Maybe now we'll be able to spot an animal. Because I'm absolutely starving right now. And I need to find nutrients soon. Or else I'll be in trouble. So we've been following the tracks for a while now. Seems the animal is going quite fast. But it also helps going to high ground and getting a better view of things. Always go for the high ground. You'll have the advantage there and... You will increase your survival chances when you're on the high ground. And you're aware of your surroundings. Oh, here we are. Oh, this seems like a wild BMW. Shh! It seems to be nesting here. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a lair or a den. We will go slowly as to not uh, attract attention. It seems to be sleeping. You can't know what it wants because usually they don't signal their intentions. <laughs> When, uh, when you're looking to hunt and you're looking for prey, animals, it often helps to look in the sky because uh, <coughs> ravens usually fly above a wounded animal or a dying animal or even corpses uh, and uh, the ravens have a strong pact with the wolves, they will fly above wounded animals and signal the wolves to come and finish it off. But if you are faster than the wolves, you'll get it. Yeah. It's, uh, that's why Odin had this combination of pets, ravens and wolves, because they're a very effective team together. But uh, I don't see any raven, and I don't see any wolf. It would seem like uh, well, we had no luck hunting. I'm still starving, but... Uh, as I said, always keep your calm and uh, your mind clear and you will find a solution. And I have. I know exactly what I need to do right now in order to survive. So right now we're cruising at really high speed on the highway. And uh, usually it's dangerous to go to this city called Virez and all like this. But I'm in a ranger car and my sirens are on. And uh, the citizens should know that if the ranger car is coming through and it has the sirens on 
You better not interfere with its business, or else you will suffer the consequences. Well, here we are. We bought a boat, and uh, we're gonna go a little bit deeper in the ocean. Because fish usually don't sit next to the shores. All you need in order to do this is uh, a fishing net and a knife. And it's a really easy way to acquire some food. So here we are. We will try and fish. You can fish by pressing the right shift button. Oh, that's awesome. Lantenna, the crayfish poking out for the coral. Let's see if I can see it from up here though. I'll try to keep my eye on him and get him out. I'm beginning to hold my breath for much longer now. The crayfish has wedged itself under some rocks, which could make it really hard for me to get him out. This fella's not giving up without a fight. With incredible speed, it tail flips away. Swimming backwards, crayfish can keep their eyes locked on their enemy. I had him! Bro, one of the prongs! And literally! Just went like lightning straight past my head and gone. Oh, so close. <sighs> Running out of puff. So, yeah, you can see even fishing takes patience and a clear mind. So, as I try to fish and catch some food, I will uh, show you some situation where. Being unprepared doesn't mean that uh, you are in trouble or you will die, you just need to have a clear mind and you will survive, your survival chances will increase if your mind is clear and you are ready to improvise. One dead. Where is he? Oh, he's behind the Land Rover. Yeah, he's behind the Land Rover. Throw an aid on the Land Rover. He's running from the Land Rover. He's going to the other car behind. You yeah. got him, nice. But I'm not sure, I think there is another one, no? I don't know, hide in a tree. Mm -hmm. So I have found a really nice place here. In the top of a hill called Malinovka. Uh, with my campfire here. Here we go. We will need some matches to light the fire. Oh yeah. Now let's cook our fish. Oh boy. It would appear that uh, I do not have a pan. Uh, I could ask for a pen there. I know the owners pretty well and I'm sure they could borrow me a pen, but uh, they are not around right now. I think they are on a... maybe on a fishing trip as well, or maybe they are raiding the shores of England, who knows. in this dire situation. There is not much to be done. 
Yeah. Sometimes you just have to take it raw. I guess it's a little bit heated up. We'll eat it raw. We will wash it down with some fresh water we found in the wild supermarket. Like I said, I am not feeling too well right now. I will drink some blood. So yeah, I have shown you how to <laughs> how to successfully acquire food and uh, cook. Although I'm not a very good cook. I'm the ranger after all, cooking is not my job. But I have shown you the basics. And that you can still live. Even if you are quite unprepared. But you are prepared to improvise and make everything happen in order to survive and increase your survival chance. So, uh, I guess I'll leave you with this lesson for now. And, uh, we will be back in a future one where uh, we will tackle other challenges in order to train you and teach you to become the ultimate survivor by following the Ranger Petrenko survival guide. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.